Hello guys, I promised a video, so here I am, keeping that promise. Um, so, not too long ago, I uploaded a little short saying that I think the full moon is affecting me, and I did a lot of thinking since then, and it was definitely more than that, and a lot has changed too. So... This video is going to be relatively long because I have a lot to share and, um, yeah. So, anyway, let's get started. So, I think this all started for me on Wednesday, last Wednesday. It is now Tuesday morning. So, last Wednesday... I worked a double shift and that was the second time I had ever worked a double shift in the three years that I had worked at the nursing home and that is because after the first time I worked a double shift I was like never again and they gave it to me they were like okay you don't have to work doubles but um, the scheduler that knows me and my situation pretty well was on vacation and the administrator took over and she wanted me to work a double and I said I don't really work doubles like it, it like tires me out like I can't do it and it sounded like they really needed help so I eventually gave in definitely shouldn't have done that I mean lesson learned but um that was when it started and after that I was just exhausted Thursday and Friday and then Friday night I couldn't sleep and actually Friday night was the full moon so I couldn't sleep until like 2.30 and then I had work at 6.30. So I went to work and then that's when things really started snowballing because that night, Saturday night, I got like total maybe three hours of sleep and they weren't even together. And then the next day like two or three and it's been like that every single night since. Well, I guess that doesn't mean leave many light. <laughs> I guess that doesn't leave many nights, cause um, today is only Tuesday, but it's it the days are blurring together, and it almost feels like um, what's it? It almost feels like time is going really slow. I don't understand that I'm like usually when I'm manic I feel like time goes by really fast so I don't know what's going on really um but yeah that gets me into my next point is I'm trying really hard to avoid mania right now and um I recently had started being weaned off of Respiradol because there's like um, side effects that my doctor was like, you know, we probably shouldn't want, shouldn't like risk it or anything. So he was trying to take me off of it. And then, uh, I guess it, in its absence, this thing broke through and that happened. So I think, I think moving forward, I'm just gonna keep taking the Respiradol, like, it's not worth this trouble, this headache. It's the beginning of the semester. The semester started yesterday and I'm just like so much stress at the beginning of the semester, but um uh yeah, so I am taking right now Depakote, I think 750 milligrams, um and then the Respiradol which I'm taking now one milligram of instead of the 0.25 that I was taking before this all happened. And then in addition to that, I, uh, as of last night, I started like try, I'm going to start like taking melatonin at least while I'm needing to sleep and then like, or at least, um, if I can't sleep just to get myself to sleep because I need to sleep, you know, um, but I'm going to make sure that I don't like 
use it consistently because that's just bad it like creates a reliance on it and i don't want to rely on a melatonin pill thing because then i won't be able to sleep without it um but there's been a lot of self-discovery as well in the last few days in the last week i guess um you all know that I've been super confused about what I want to do with my life, my purpose, and everything. And, um... I think I found it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's the exact thing that I'm going to end up doing, but it at least gives me a better sense of direction. Because... If you guys have been watching my videos, you know that I was just trying to finish out the semester, finish school, and move on. But as I'm doing my own, like, searching for jobs, talking to friends who are struggling to find jobs, I'm like, with a psychology degree, I'm not going to be able to find anything that I want to do. So I was like, you know what, I might as well just keep going to school and doing and do something that I want. So I am actually uh, going back and studying chemistry a little and education. So I'm going to try to do some kind of science teacher thing. And it might be like middle school or high school. We'll see where this takes me. I think that I need to take it like... A semester or a year at a time and not think like where you self where you see yourself in five years because so many things change in five years that is just crazy because like five years ago was what now um 2018 2018 was <laughs> was when i had just come back from u of i kind of got back into the school i was going to clc which is the community college and i was taking like part-time schooling because i didn't want to rush into things and like stress myself out and then literally that fall i had decided that i was going to take myself off meds just to see if i could handle it and um surprise surprise i can't handle it and um yeah, there were a lot of things that happened back in 2018 that were just not good. And I mean, I could tell you a lot of different stories, but that is for another time. <laughs> I'm just saying that in 2018, I never would have guessed that I'd be here where I am now. And actually 2019 was the year that i lost all hope like i was so depressed that summer and i was like just straight up not planning for anything because i was like there's no future for me to plan for it wasn't like i was gonna do anything to hurt myself but i was like i don't even care so yeah that's 2018 2019 and now we're here beginning 2023 and i finally know what i want to do i have a means to get it and it's attainable not too far away so things are looking up even though i have um i'm having trouble sleeping right now and uh things could go one of two ways in the next week i could become extremely manic and delusional and everything and have to take a break for the semester or something or i could you know swing myself back to stability before anything too bad happens and i'm hoping that i can stay sane I um, really need to 
not go down the path that has always led me towards delusions which has always been like focusing on numbers and like their meanings and I don't know I could also make you guys a video about my delusions and what I actually do when I'm delusional and what my notes look like I haven't really shared those with many people but um I would definitely do that with you guys soon I just have a lot of my plate right now with school starting with the mania um threatening me <laughs> I would say it's not quite here yet but it definitely could be so um that's that. I think that I'm, I don't know, I'm hoping things go well. I'm optimistic that if I stay positive and like do everything right, that everything will like smooth itself over and I'll be able to continue with the semester as planned. Um... And I think it's a lot in the mindset because, you know, the way I think about things is going to affect the way that I act. And if I'm hopeless, then it's going to cause me to do things that will eventually cause me to fail. If you know what I mean. It's called self-fulfilling prophecy. And I'm sure some of you guys may have heard of that before where it's like you just think something is going to be true so then things that you do eventually make it come true even if it wouldn't have happened that way originally so anyway uh that's where i'm at i will check in with you guys later this week maybe next week we'll see i also have a special surprise for you i have a um guest coming onto my channel so you guys will be seeing that in the next couple of weeks and i will see you guys next time